Welcome to Hi-Fi AV Tech, the channel where we break down the tech behind your home theater and audio systems. Today, we are exploring the real differences between HDMI 2.0 and HDMI 2.1. If you are shopping for a new TV, gaming console, sound system, or just trying to make sense of your cables and ports, this video is going to clear everything up. By the end, you will understand exactly what HDMI version you need for your setup and how each one affects your video and audio experience. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface. It is the standard used to transmit audio and video from devices like Blu-ray players, gaming consoles, AV receivers, and TVs. Over the years, HDMI has evolved to support better quality and faster transmission. HDMI 2.0 and HDMI 2.1 are the two most relevant versions today. Although they may look the same physically, their capabilities are very different, especially when it comes to resolution, frame rate, and features. HDMI 2.0 was released in 2013. It supports a maximum bandwidth of 18 gigabits per second. This allows for 4K resolution at 60 frames per second which was a big step up from earlier versions. HDMI 2.0 also supports HDR, 21 to 9 aspect ratio, and up to 32 audio channels. For most traditional 4K viewing, HDMI 2.0 has been more than enough. Many TVs and receivers from the past several years are equipped with HDMI 2.0 ports, and they still perform well in standard home entertainment setups. HDMI 2.1 was introduced in 2017 and takes things to a much higher level. It increases bandwidth to 48 gigabits per second, enabling support for 4K at 120 frames per second and even 8K at 60 frames per second. This version includes advanced features like variable refresh rate, auto low latency mode, enhanced audio return channel, quick media switching, and quick frame transport. These improvements provide smoother gameplay, faster response, and better audio performance, especially in modern systems. With HDMI 2.0, you get 4K at 60 Hz, which works well for most content. However, HDMI 2.1 doubles the performance, offering 4K at 120 Hz and 8K at 60 Hz. That means higher image clarity, faster transitions, and more immersive viewing particularly useful for gamers and sports enthusiasts. If you are using a display or source that supports high frame rates, HDMI 2.1 lets you take full advantage of that capability. Gamers will see the biggest benefit with HDMI 2.1. It introduces features like variable refresh rate, which prevents screen tearing, and auto low latency mode, which reduces input lag. Consoles like the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are designed with HDMI 2.1 in mind. If you want to experience smooth 4K gaming at 120 frames per second, HDMI 2.1 is necessary. HDMI 2.0 will still work, but it will limit you to lower frame rates and fewer visual enhancements. Both HDMI 2.0 and HDMI 2.1 support HDR formats, including HDR10 and Dolby Vision. The difference is in how they handle dynamic metadata. HDMI 2.1 allows metadata to change frame by frame, improving contrast and color in real time. This results in a more accurate and vibrant image, particularly noticeable in high-quality HDR content. For movie lovers and content creators, this can make a significant impact. HDMI 2.0 supports ARC, which is good for sending audio from your TV to a soundbar or receiver. However, RC is limited to compressed audio formats. HDMI 2.1 introduces EARC, which allows for uncompressed audio, including Dolby Atmos and DTSX. This upgrade provides clearer, more detailed sound with better channel separation. If your sound system is built for immersive audio, EARC will help you get the most out of it. A common question is whether you need new cables. HDMI 2.0 uses high-speed HDMI cables, while HDMI 2.1 requires ultra-high-speed HDMI cables to support the full 48 gigabits per second. 
The good news is that HDMI 2.1 devices are backward compatible with HDMI 2.0 cables and ports, but you will not get the full feature set unless you use the right cable. If you plan to use features like 4K at 120Hz or ERC, upgrading the cable is a smart move. Most streaming services still deliver content in 4K at 60 frames per second with HDR, which HDMI 2.0 handles without issue. But HDMI 2.1 ensures you are ready for future improvements in video quality. As platforms begin to adopt higher frame rates, or 8K content, HDMI 2.1 will be essential. It also improves how quickly content loads, switches between sources, and handles high-quality audio, making the overall experience smoother and more reliable. For home theater enthusiasts, HDMI 2.1 makes a noticeable difference. It simplifies your setup by allowing a single connection to carry uncompressed audio and high frame rate video. With HDMI 2.0, some users need to use separate audio and video paths or deal with limitations in signal pass-through. HDMI 2.1 enabled AV receivers can manage multiple high bandwidth sources, provide better synchronization, and reduce audio lag, creating a cleaner and more immersive experience. If you are mainly watching movies, streaming TV, or using a basic 4K setup, HDMI 2.0 may still be enough for now. But if you are a gamer, an audiophile, or planning to buy a new display with 120Hz or 8K support, HDMI 2.1 is the better long-term choice. It gives you access to the latest features and ensures your system will stay compatible as content and devices continue to evolve. HDMI 2.1 is not just about higher resolution. It is about unlocking faster, richer, and more interactive viewing and listening experiences. From dynamic HDR and higher frame rates to immersive audio and smoother gaming, HDMI 2.1 brings features that improve every part of your AV setup. If you are building or upgrading your system, paying attention to HDMI version compatibility is one of the smartest moves you can make. Thanks for watching this HDMI comparison on Hi-Fi AV Tech. If you learned something new today, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. We bring you honest reviews, detailed guides, and expert tips to help you get the best out of your home audio and video systems. If you have any questions or want to share your HDMI experience, leave a comment below. We'll see you in the next one with more insights and gear breakdowns.